So I thought that they were done with one of my favorite products that they did more recently, and that was the V Union. Apparently, they were not. So I thought that there would only be four of them, and I actually did a project with all four of those, expecting there to only be four. And uh, then this Morpico V Union released. Uh, I actually picked this up at my local card store as a decent price, but regardless of what it was, I, I, my goal is to not miss any V Unions. So even if it's one I don't even care about, I'm going to pay the price for it because I love this idea and I kind of want them to keep doing it. So despite the kind of steeper asking price of $30, uh, it only has four packs inside, which isn't super stellar, but I'm still excited for it mostly because of the V Union itself. So let's go over to the desk and open it up. Oh, I'm sorry. It appears I introduced this box wrong. It's not the more Pico V Union box. It's the more Pico V Union special collection because that's a huge difference. Let's just start splitting this thing down the side through the gallon of glue they always put on these things and slide her out. And inside, pack-wise, we have two Brilliant Stars and two Fusion Strike. You guys know me, I like variety. As much as I like Brilliant Stars, I still like having some variety, so we're also gonna throw in this Chilling Rain, which was supposed to be for pack of the day. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with a Fusion Strike. We can save the more exciting ones for down the road. And split that thing just straight down. And we're going to slide out our code card. Perfect. They're getting better at not making some slides and some flips. They're getting a lot more consistent with everything being a slide. So we have Cook. I like his name. Very, very good name. This being named after your profession. We have a Mag Cargo and a Chara Bug going on to our Shelmet Drill Burr, but I'll be bouncing in front of the Moonlight. We have, not in front of, in the Moonlight. Uh, Choodle Durant as our reverse. And on the end, we have a Galarian Cursola. Cursola, however you want to say it. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing we started off with that with the dud pack. I'm sure that the others are all going to be perfect. All right, let's go ahead and look at the main feature here. The V Union cards. First off, we have more Pico's ear and health. Moving <laughs> on, we have more Pico's face. That's probably the one that will likely have the most value just because it actually shows more Pico. Uh, past that, we have the code card for the entire box. Whoever gets to claim that first, uh, congrats. <laughs> Uh, then we have more Pico's name with not really much else going on, uh, although I do like that little red slash there. And we have a part of more Pico. I can't, is that, is that like more Pico's butt? What part is that? No, nah, it's kind of like under the belly, like that's the front arm right there. Okay, so the butt's, the butt is here in the name, so that might have some value too. <laughs> and of course it comes with a special card as well. You know, the highly valued Professor Burnett. <laughs> I'll put the value down there so you guys can understand. It's such a worthy card to throw in every V Union product. I get the point. I, I learned why this comes with it. It lets you discard two cards from your deck because in order to use a V Union card, you have to have all four cards in your discard pile and then you can use the V Union. So it makes sense that it comes to Professor Burnett, but as a collector, it still feels weird. All right, so which Brilliant Stars feels heavier? I'm, I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards this shaman right here. Weighing it almost never works out, but you know, it could one day. Actually, I think it actually has worked out before. So let's go ahead and do our little, I always forget this thing's name. I know its name. I know its name. And every time I see the pack art, it just disappears from that section of my brain. We do three to the front, get rid of our fighting and... Speaking of fighting, we have some cleansing gloves. That's like a real, like, you know, like, way of fighting off your demons. Don't just use, like, some of those, like, Japanese tags that, you, that are used to ward off demons. No. Put it on gloves and beat the hell out of them. Uh, we have a Floatzel, Siglyph, Rylu doing the Naruto run, Starly, Milsuri, Carablast, Clefairy, Clefable is our reverse, so no trainer gallery. But there's still a shot on the end, a Lipard. I mean, I'm just gonna keep hoping for Trainer Gallery. Like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about the rare slot. I want that Trainer Gallery slot. Let's go ahead and do our Chilling Rain in case you were not paying attention. This pack did not come in the box. This is just an extra pack that I happen to have. But mix up a little bit. Get some different sets going on in here. We do four to the 
front, and we have a Grass Energy. Going on to our Echoing Horn, Willipede, Whirlipede, man, and Thwacky as all of the uncommons. Then for the commons, we have the Venipede, the Snover, Galarian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Snow Runt. We have a Reverse Zangoose. Does not look too bad. I still, I still like Zangoose. I really liked him when I was a little, when I was a little boy. Um, but yeah, he's still pretty cool. And on the end, an Agron. Well, I added a Dud Pack, so you know, there's your extra Dud Pack of the video. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and show the only extra thing that came in here, rather evidently. It is the big boy Morpico V Union. And as I showed in a previous video, in case you're wondering, all four cards do not actually equal this jumbo. While the text and the artwork are all going to, first of all, that looks really washed out. Like look at that face compared to that face. This jumbo is washed out. Anyways, when you put it there in the corner and line it up perfectly with the edges, we can still see a duplicate of Morpico's eye. That's because the artwork isn't quite double. Like, this jumbo is a slightly larger size than if you had all four of these cards put together. But there's our oddly washed out Morpico V Union. I wonder if everybody's looks like that, or if mine was like out in the sun or something. But if it was, then these would be more washed out than this would be. I, I'm so confused. With two more packs to go, we have our Fusion Strike with our beautiful Gengar boy on the front. Splicer open and and pull him out and code card and uh, four to the front. Yeah, how many times can I say and? We have a Lightning Energy, a Spongy Gloves. I actually don't think I have those. That's weird. I, I Those look weird. Uh, we have Corvus Squire, Sand Slash. I still love the Aeolian Sand Slash. We have, I know it's not Aeolian, but I, it kind of ruined Sand Slash for me a little bit. Uh, we have EV, Spongy Gloves as a reverse. Okay, well, I didn't have this card, at least not, the, I, I don't remember this card existing, but now I have it as a reverse, so I have both forms, <laughs> unless there's a Golden Rare version. And on the end, okay, our first poll of the video, we have a Hollow Butterfree. Not too bad looking. I can't look at Butterfree ever without thinking of the uh, of that episode that everybody who watched Pokemon growing up uh, uh, caused that episode to like stick in their brain. Uh, very sad. I'm not gonna bother sleeving it right now. We're just gonna throw it back there on a stand and get to our last pack. Or. Let's go ahead and do one of these. I keep saying I like variety. I still have some of these things left, a fair amount. We have some of these action flips still to do. Uh, I did a whole video on these things, if you all are interested. Um, they are, you know, a really old Pokemon product, and I'm still missing a handful from this set. So we have a Regirock, a Swellow, Talo, and yes. Okay, so that's only the two. I don't know why I thought there was a third version. And lastly, a Manatric and Electric. If you want to learn more about these, I did a whole video on them. I just have a bunch of extra packs that I bought after that video, and I feel like it's nice to throw in video in these other videos once in a while. All right, enough stalling. It's time for our last Brilliant Stars, and I'm really hoping for that Trainer Gallery. Like I said, I weighed this one by hand. It, it was it was definitely a heavy pack because I can definitely tell that minor difference in weight. We have our code card, we do four to the front, and our fire energy, bear tick, fracture, and our chinchino as all of the uncommons. Wow, that is a very, very stylistic magmar there. Uh, spear tomb, burmies, never cared for those things, little, little cotton candy ball there. We have our impidimp, star you, corfish as our reverse. And come on, I know I didn't get the Trainer Gallery, I know, but, man, we got one pull. We got one pull in this video. No, man, we're, we're, we're gonna throw two extra packs in this one. Our Chilling Rain didn't help us, and out of five packs, we got one pull. Maybe this Fusion Strike, taken straight from a booster box, will help us out. Just give us that one extra chance, come on, there's our code card. We do four to the front. And we're just gonna kind of fly through it. I just, ooh, that actually, never mind. I really like the look of the Halucha and that Lapras. Some nice looking cards in this set, guys, I'm telling you. 
uh, Mankey, Kalancher, Growlithe, Stuffle. We have a Galarian, Meowth. And, oh! I did not know that you existed. Fusion Strike, Single Strike, and Rapid Strike, Deoxys. I didn't know this was an option. That is sick. Like, that. that is absolutely insane. It probably is worth nothing, but hey, that throwing in that second extra pack here definitely helped out. And now it's time for the extra card of the day. These are cards that I purchased as singles just because I liked the way that they looked or I just wanted to add them to the collection. So, our card for today's video is... Right, we have the Deoxys uh, set Wish Cash. This was a pre-release card. This one is not in the best condition. You got some little like sparkles in it. I uh, hope that kind of shows on camera where it's been kind of scratched a little bit. It has a bit of a curve going on. Not the best condition, but I actually recall having this exact card with the stamp as a child. And I wanted to add it to my collection again to bring it back to my modern day collection since I wasn't smart enough as a kid to hold on to all my old cards. It is now time for your end of video recap, everything that was air verse or better. So yeah, I'd say this video went okay. I mean, it wasn't crazy. Our pull rates were pretty bad. In fact, if I didn't add those extra packs, we wouldn't have had, you know, we would have only had that Butterfree. But thanks to adding one extra, we got a Deoxys that I didn't even know that existed. And of course, our bonus card of the day with our Whiskash that I really need to try and flatten out. I'd say all in all, not too bad. Not the best by any means. Uh, we've definitely had way better pulls in the past. But I'd say that I can accept what we had today. Hoping that the next one will be even better. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. If you are not subscribed already, consider doing so as I post two full videos a week just like this one that you can come back and watch, you know, twice a week, every Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, so once again, thank you guys very much for watching and hopefully I will see all of y'all next time.